Snakes come in all shapes and sizes, and while some of them are little more than worms, other snakes are utter behemoths. Truly terrifying in scale and scope. These slippery customers were already scary enough, but with size to boot. Yikes. These are abnormally large snakes that actually exist. Number 15. Green Anaconda It's only natural to mention the green anaconda when talking about the largest snakes that actually exist, because pound for pound, the green anaconda actually is the largest snake in the world. Even though the reticulated python can be longer, the girth of the green anaconda makes it nearly twice as heavy. And just looking at the green anaconda, you can definitely tell it's heavy. They grow over 29 feet long and can weigh up to 550 pounds. Even their diameter is crazy, measuring over 12 inches. That's like a foot-long Subway sandwich the whole way round. As you can probably imagine, they aren't that swift on land, but put them in a watery environment and they're no slowpoke. They tend to live in marshes, slow-moving streams, swamps, and tropical rainforests as a result. Given their heft, they don't feast on berries and insects, no. They prefer wild deer, pigs, jaguars, turtles, and pretty much any large, meaty mammal that can satisfy their hunger. They even swallow their prey whole. As a result, after a decent meal of deer or something else large, they can go weeks or months without eating. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Number 14. Burmese Python There are plenty of big snakes in the world. To someone who's scared of snakes, any snake is too big. But one of the largest in the world is the Burmese python. This Southeast Asia native is not only an invasive species in some parts of the world, but a huge invasive species. They can grow up to around 16 feet long in the wild, but even longer in captivity. Some have been known to grow over 18 feet. Imagine that trying to sneak up through your bathroom drain. You'd have a heart attack. Burmese pythons are excellent swimmers and live in swamps, marshes, river valleys, grasslands, and a wide variety of other environments. Oh, just to terrify you even further, they are excellent climbers, and they're even good at opening windows. Nah, I just made that one up. They also have a mostly carnivorous diet, feasting on both birds and mammals. They will wrap their body around their prey after seizing it with their teeth, then contract their muscles to kill them with constriction. The larger they get, the larger the prey they go after. There have been reports of them eating pigs, goats, and even alligators and deer in Florida, where their numbers have reached invasive levels. Number 13. Reticulated Pythons even though reticulated pythons are not venomous, that doesn't mean you shouldn't fear them. If it's not their massive size that makes them scary, then it's their track record that does. Reticulated pythons are the world's longest snakes, and they're also one of the few that prey on humans. Oh, good. Even though attacks on humans aren't all that common, they do happen, and several human fatalities have been reported from as far back as the early 20th century to as recently as 2020. They are excellent swimmers, have colonized many small islands that they've been able to swim to, and are native to South and Southeast Asia. Because their population numbers are not of concern, they are often hunted for their skin, traditional medicine, and sold as pets. I don't know about you, but knowing they eat humans would be enough to put me off owning one. In 2020, a 16-year-old Indonesian boy was killed by a 23-foot-long python in Southeast Sulawesi. The boy became separated from his friends in some woods. They managed to discover him after he screamed and he had a reticulated python coiled around him. Number 12. African Rock Python 
The African rock python is one of the six largest snake species in the world and the largest in Africa. It's not uncommon to find this sneaky snake measuring over 20 feet long. However, more common lengths are around 10 or 11 feet and weights of between 97 to 120 pounds. Males are smaller than females and larger pythons tend to live in low populated areas. African rock pythons live in various habitat types like deserts and forests. Rock pythons aren't venomous. They constrict their prey to kill it. Still, they tend to stick to areas where water may be present, because if they need water, so do delicious mammals they can feast on. African rock pythons eat many different animals up to the size of antelopes, although they're partial to a crocodile snack from time to time. This python doesn't make a habit of killing humans, but there's a reason why people fear them. They can kill humans. There have been several reports of attacks, but no substantiated reports of deaths involving these pythons. In Kenya in 2009, a man was reportedly attacked after accidentally stepping on a 13-foot long python. The python dragged him up a tree, but he was able to be rescued. Number 11. Indian Python the Indian python is an Indian subcontinent and Southeast Asian native snake that goes by the name of Asian rock python, black-tailed python, and Indian python. They have white and yellow patterned skin with tan and darker shades and grow up to around 10 feet long, although the longest recorded Indian python measured in at about 15 feet long and 110 pounds. If you're gonna find these snakes anywhere, then they'll be in habitats like grasslands, marshes, swamps, woodlands, and river valleys. Typically, they'll be near a source of water. Stay away from dense water reeds, mangrove thickets, hollow trees, and abandoned burrows because this is where they like to hide. Yeah. She's curled like she looks like she wants yeah. to strike, that's for sure. But there's no actual strike. Oh, there you go. As far as massive snakes go, they're probably some of the more timid of the lot. They're lethargic, slow-moving, and even when attacked, rarely try to strike back. Although that doesn't mean they're not ruthless when they need to be. They can easily take down a variety of mammals and birds, and even dine on reptiles. They do this by constricting and killing them before swallowing them head first. These pythons then don't need to eat for weeks after a heavy meal. Number 10. Amethystine Python The amethystine python, or scrub python, comes from Indonesia, Australia, and Papua New Guinea. They are one of the six largest snakes in the world, with many being found measuring up to 16 feet long. However, there have also been some reportedly measured at almost 30 feet long. Even though they're some of the largest snakes in the world, they actually don't weigh a lot. Most females weigh around 33 pounds, with only a few exceptions to that rule. Given their slim figure, they don't choose massive prey like other giant snakes. They feast on possums, rats, birds, and bats, with some larger pythons consuming wallabies as well. Quite often, they'll lie in wait at drinking water sources until their unsuspecting victim comes in to hydrate. While some snake species have worryingly low population numbers, the amethystine python is not one of them. They're classified as being of the least concern and live across many islands in Indonesia and Papua New Guinea. In northern tropical Queensland and Indonesia, you quite often discover them in rainforests. However, in New Guinea and northern Australia, high population numbers are in scrublands. So basically, no matter where you go in these places, you can't escape them. Number 9. Boa Constrictor the boa constrictor is a heavy-bodied snake that goes by the name of the common boa or red-tailed boa. It's often kept and bred in captivity, but is also found on some Caribbean islands and in tropical South America. Even though boa constrictors aren't the largest snakes globally, they are amongst some of the largest. They can grow up to 13 feet long, with females being both larger and girthier than males. This will probably be an unpopular opinion, but I feel like they are kind of an amazing beginner snake. Females average lengths of between 7 and 10 feet, while males are often between 6 and 8 feet long. Though, we don't call them heavy-bodied for no reason. They are hefty. 
Some of the largest snakes in this family can weigh up to 60 pounds, but the average is around 33 pounds. Their size and weight can depend on where they live and what they like to eat. Most boa constrictors eat small and medium-sized mammals and birds like rats, mice, and even lizards. Although the larger the snake, the larger their appetite. So some also eat mammals as large as ocelots. They are ambush predators, so they'll wait for their snack of choice to come along before they attack. Number 8. Yellow Anaconda While smaller than a green anaconda, the yellow anaconda is still among some of the world's largest snakes. They can grow up to 14.4 feet long, with females being larger than males. Some have been reported to measure over 15 feet long and weigh over 121 pounds. As impressive as their size is, their color is also a noteworthy point. It's all in the name, really. They are yellow or golden tan, with a beautiful green-yellow ground cover and black streaks, spots, and saddles. If you're gonna discover them anywhere, then it'll be along the Paraguay River, its tributaries, and from northeastern Argentina to northern Uruguay. They live in swamps, marshes, streams, and slow-moving rivers, but also now live in Florida, where small populations exist, possibly due to escaped pets. Now, this is very interesting. If you look, guys, see how the saddles on the back are faded? While many other snakes feast on land creatures, yellow anacondas are a little bit different. While they do eat mammals, birds, and reptiles, they also love fish, amphibians, and eggs. There have even been cases of them eating brocca deer and capybaras. They have a few predators themselves, but humans hunt them for their skin, and some young or elderly snakes do get eaten by caimans, jaguars, or larger anacondas. Number 7. Rattlesnake Rattlesnakes are venomous snakes native to all the Americas and the leading cause of snake bite injuries in North America. They get their name from the rattle on the end of their tail, which rattles when vibrating to warn and deter threats and predators. To be honest, they are not the massive monsters you'd expect. They only grow to 8 feet long, with the largest being the eastern diamondback rattlesnake. That's not to say you'd want to stumble across them by accident, or even on purpose, to be honest, because their venom can cause necrosis and coagulopathy, which is disrupted blood clotting. Beginning of next year, when I turn the heat back on, that'll help trigger it. The venom of the tiger rattlesnake can even cause severe paralysis. The severity of the bite can depend on the rattlesnake and its size. Around 8,000 people in the United States are bitten each year, and around 5 people die. Although, if you receive anti-venom treatment within two hours of being bitten, your survival rate is over 99%. But the risk of being bitten is probably why a lot of people call on snake experts to get rid of them. Tulsa snake hunter Tim Fitzer came across a massive western diamondback rattlesnake measuring over 6 feet long. Even though he's an expert, even he struggled to capture it. Number 6. King Cobra if there's one snake you certainly want to give a wide berth, it's the terrifying-looking King Cobra. Its looks alone are enough to make you want to run away screaming, and that's before you learn it's the world's longest venomous snake. King Cobras grow up to around 13 feet long, but the longest ever measured was 19.2 feet long. Even though they mostly live on snakes, lizards, and rodents, they have no qualms about attacking humans with a potentially deadly bite if they have to. They live in forests from India to Southeast Asia, so it can be quite hard to avoid if you live in these areas. We recommend that you try. If you are bit by a king cobra, the toxins can affect your central nervous system. You may experience extreme pain, vertigo, drowsiness, blurred vision, and even paralysis. Depending on how much venom was in the bite, some victims end up with cardiovascular collapse, followed by a coma, respiratory failure, and death. This entire process can happen in just 30 minutes. Fortunately, antivenom is available to potentially reduce the risk of that happening. Number 5. Olive Python The olive python is a chocolate brown to olive green snake with a cream-colored belly from Australia. They are Australia's second largest snake species, measuring up to 13 feet long. 
This beautiful snake lives in rocky areas near water in Western Australia, Queensland, and Northern Territory, and can be found in burrows under rocks and hollow logs. So essentially, if you want to avoid coming across this big guy, stay away from these areas. Olive pythons are ambush predators. They lie in wait near an animal trail, then strike at fruit bats, ducks, rock wallabies, and spandex pigeons. Because they are excellent swimmers, they can often attack prey from under the water, as if their massive size wasn't terrifying enough. Some of the larger olive pythons may even try to feast on crocodiles if they're given half a chance. As far as their personality goes, though, they're not as scary as they look. Many people who own and breed them in captivity say they're friendly, calm, and curious if appropriately raised. Okay, I'll take your word for it. Number 4. Black Mamba After the King Cobra, the Black Mamba is the second largest venomous snake in the world. It comes from sub-Saharan Africa and generally measures up to almost 10 feet long, although some measuring up to 14 feet and longer have also been reported. Black Mambas are both ground-living and tree-living, which means they can sneak up on you when you least expect it. They also live in a variety of habitats, like savannas, woodlands, dense forests, and rocky slopes. If you happen to pester one accidentally, you better be prepared to run, and fast. Black Mambas can move at speeds of up to 10 miles per hour, and even though they only eat small mammals and birds, they can deliver a nasty bite. Oh, and by nasty, we pretty much mean horrendous. They are one of the most feared snakes in Africa because of how aggressive they are and how toxic their venom is. Out of around 2,553 snake bites in a 20-year period, at least 75 of them came from black mambas. Out of those 75 bites, 21 bite victims died before receiving anti-venom. Number 3. Titana Boa we hear all about massive snakes in existence today, like the green anaconda and boa constrictor. But what about snakes that did exist, but don't now? The titana boa was thought to be the largest snake species ever discovered, and we sure are pleased that it doesn't exist today. Titana boa used to live in northeastern Colombia and could grow up to 42 feet long. It was also thought to weigh a whopping 2,500 pounds. Fossils have been found dating back to up to 60 million years ago that say a lot about what this snake was like. It lived during the middle to late Paleocene Epoch, which was after the Cretaceous Paleogene extinction event. The name Titana Boa means Titanic Boa, and that's pretty accurate. Out of all 28 fossils that have been found, most were incredibly long. It is thought that they would have shared their ecosystem with large turtles and Crocodilomorpha. Going by its size, you'd probably assume it was an apex predator, but that wasn't actually the case. Researchers believe that because of the teeth it had and their positioning, they were probably mostly pisivorous, meaning they only ate fish. Number 2. Eastern Indigo Snake the eastern indigo snake is a huge, non-venomous snake, and one that gains the title of being the longest native snake species in the United States and all of Native America. They are mostly blue-black in color, with some red, orange, and tan coloring around the chin, cheeks, and throat. In certain lighting, their skin looks smooth and shiny. Even though female snakes tend to be the largest in most other species, that is not the case with eastern indigo snakes. Instead, males measure up to almost 8 feet long, while females grow no longer than around 6.5 feet. There are, of course, exceptions to the rule, and some measuring closer to 9 feet long have also been discovered. To go with their length, they are also quite heavy. They average under 4 pounds, but can also weigh up to 11 pounds. They aren't fussy when it comes to food. If they can overpower it, they'll eat it. That pretty much means humans are off the menu. Brutally, they often kill their prey like frogs, lizards, and toads by beating them against nearby objects. Number 1. Cuban Tree Boa As the name suggests, the Cuban Tree Boa is a snake that spends a lot of time in the trees. It lives in tropical, dry, and scrub forests of Cuba and can live up to 22 years. This bold, dark brown to black snake is a skillful predator, which is actually quite surprising. 
especially given that they live alone and have poor eyesight. They rely on their tongues to smell the air and catch their prey. When they do, they don't kill them with their teeth. Instead, they'll wrap themselves around their victim to suffocate them. They grow up to around 4 meters long, or 13 feet, and mainly feast on rodents to keep themselves alive. Although, they got a pretty impressive trick where they can snatch bats from the air, or just as they're about to enter or exit their roosting caves. The IUCN believes their numbers are at the near-threatened level, mostly because humans view them as a threat to livestock. Their population numbers aren't known, but around 165 of them are in zoos around the world. Well, that's enough no-broke for me for one day. Who knew that such massive snakes could exist, and so close to home? Have you seen any of these in person? Are you scared of snakes? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!